hello guys we are back with our next tutorial in this tutorial let's see all about CRO guys guys this is one of the most important topic so basically CRO cathode ray oscilloscope guys if you want to learn how you can draw this diagram I'll be saying you a small trick and it's going to be a funny trick also guys do you want to learn it okay let's go through it first so that you will be 100% clear with the diagram so basically first I hope everyone knows the torch light right so just to draw a torch light so that you're gonna get the outer structure done so now you will be having a rod with two balls and two layered shell a rod with two balls and a two layered shell done so here let us assume this is a torch light right so light will be starting from here so it reaches here it reaches here it reaches here it reaches here so here we'll be having some grids guys so there are something assume them as grids and that light falls on two parallel plates and that reflects to a spot so now you are done with the interior part and the and this is our supply so here too we're gonna give it to higher voltage supply so that we're gonna get from here we're gonna get ground and we'll be having three resistors to don't allow a lot and lots of current so now I hope everyone got a small idea on this so basically if you want the elements what are those what are these so basically this is we call as glass envelope and this rod we call as cathode and this gap I told you frame right that is nothing but the filament remember and these are the variable resistance you can write R R R that's fine further moving on this will be a higher voltage supply plus minus further moving on this will be our horizontal plates and these will be our vertical plates so now I hope everyone is now clear with this and remember guys we are having excuse me for that okay so basically we are having an external circuit for this parallel sorry this horizontal and vertical plates guys that's an important thing to know so here we are having these two and these three so I have just written the names right here guys so one is nothing but for from vertical we will be having for both vertical guys one is the vertical attenuator and vertical amplifier so I hope everyone did an experiment at least on CRO guys basically we done oscillators on CRO and there are few more experiments in our first semester and second semester also so basically I hope everyone knows about CRO so if the given graph is like this so if it is appearing on this whole grid this will be our display so if it is appearing down here to change it vertically we use those vertical knobs and to change it horizontally we are gonna use it horizontal knobs so horizontal means it will be moving along x axis and vertical means it, it will be moving along y axis okay so vertical attenuator vertical amplifier are used for movement here 1 and 2 and 2 3 4 5 will be the synchronizer sawtooth generator and horizontal amplifier so these are the three things so now I hope everyone is 100% clear guys I have explained everything of this so this is an anode 1 this is anode 2 you can number them anyway okay so now I hope everyone got a small idea on this guys okay so further moving on guys I think this thing you cannot see it clearly so the link will be in the description guys so you can just download the file PDF in that you gonna find this question as 10th I think though I think I think so 10th or 9th basically the last second question okay so I'll be reading out for you so that it will be clear for you the CRO is a versatile electronic testing and measuring instrument okay so this CRO is a testing device guys okay so it is displayed as a function of time so the graph will be something like this with voltage with respect to time guys the graph will be something like that okay it is used for voltage frequency and phase angle measurement yeah this is a star point and also for the examination of very low frequency and very high frequency there is a chance also for zoom in and zoom out in vertical and horizontal knobs only guys okay so now let us go through a small concept that is about vertical horizontal voltage amplifier so basically these amplifiers are connected between the 
input terminal and the depletion plates so this is connected between the input and the depletion plates that are nothing but the horizontal and vertical so the function of the amplifier is to increase the deflection sensitivity of the weak voltage so if there is a less voltage guys it's going to make it a bit clear and big so that we can just count it okay so let us go through the power supply so basically if you have just observed the diagram carefully i have wrote that high power supply so now let us go through why we need high power supply so the power supply unit provides high voltage required by the crt basically in the cro we will be having a cathode ray tube guys so that tube needs a lots and lots of amount of current basically so to generate that we need lots and lots of current to accelerate the electron beam so from that crt we gonna get a ray of electrons guys so those electrons should be accelerated so basically the crt requires the a few thousand volts for acceleration and low voltage for the heater of the electron gun so if you want to emit the electrons out you need really a less amount but to accelerate them at high speeds you need to have lots and lots of current and that's going to current is nothing but voltage guys you need a lots and lots of voltage and that whole stuff is going to happen in crt so the cro has various control switch switches on the panel and the intensity is intensity focus can be adjusted by the respective knobs so there will be they are really really clear guys so if you want i'll be searching for the diagram in the meanwhile guys and i'll be just showing you showing you it okay so i'll be just searching for it in the meanwhile i'll be taking small small gaps okay so basically let us go through this continuation of crt guys so basically crt the crt okay crt is nothing but the cathode ray tube guys is the heart of the cro it's going to be the most important part of our whole chapter okay of our whole concept of cro it's going to be the most important concept guys okay so now let us go further deep into it so crt is the heart of the cro it is a vacuum tube of special geometrical shape that is nothing but a cylinder some kind of cylinder shape guys and converts an electrical signal into visual signal visual signal is nothing but in terms of a wave that's it so the heated cathode okay the cathode is directly in contact with it guys so the heated cathode okay okay just give me a second guys okay okay the heated cathode emits the electrons so the cathode mainly emits the electrons which are accelerated to very high velocity by this crt okay guys so now i hope everyone got a small idea on crt right guys so i hope everyone got a small idea so now let us go further deep into this topic okay so basically let us go further in glass envelope and screen so basically the glass envelope is nothing but the outer shell of the cro guys so it's the house of the electron gun vertical horizontal plates and the screen on the canonical front end so it's going to be the house of everything guys okay so the inner thing the inner wall of the crt between the neck and the screen are usually coated with a material called aqua dag guys so basically i hope everyone remember the diagram it is something like this the outer layer only i'll be drawing guys don't worry the torch light thing so this is the torch light right so basically this places it is coated with a material called aqua dag so when we focus this we will be focusing right here so once we are focusing that there is a chance of reflections and it's going to touch these ends so 
as it is coated with aquadac it's going to get reflected again it's, it's going to be back in its positions so that's how this works guys so the screen is coated with a suitable fluorescent material as if spots okay that's fine so these are the three different colors in which we will be observing CRO okay guys so now I hope everyone is 100% clear with CRO in the next tutorial we will be going through data acquisition system that's an important thing guys so if you want the diagram I am unable to find the exact machine of that guys if you give me in the next in the, the conclusion tutorial of this chapter I'll be somehow managing to find it and I'll be showing it to you guys don't worry thank you thanks for watching